many of us know firsthand, at some point in our lives, we'll suffer some back pain. But it happened to a soldier at Camp Mabry, and surgery would have cost him a deployment, possibly his military career. KV's Jim Bergamo is here with the alternative treatment, which helped get the soldier back in action. This is Sergeant First Class John Martinez during his deployment to Afghanistan in 2011. A deployment delayed due to a back injury he suffered while lifting military equipment at Camp Mabry a few months earlier. He remembers hearing the pop in his back. Extreme pain set in to the point where I fell to my knees. Every time I tried to, to stand straight up, the pain was, was so bad that... I, I thought I was going to pass out. It hurt so bad. Martinez had suffered two herniated discs. That occurs when the rubbery cushions between the vertebrae and the spine rupture, similar to the filling in a jelly donut squirting out. The herniated material can compress the nerves around the disc and create pain that can radiate through the back and sometimes down the arms and legs. Martinez worried because he thought surgery might be his only option. The first thing that comes to everybody's mind is, oh my gosh, that's the end of my career. It was compressing um, one or two of the nerves that, that support his leg function. But Dr. I. Mackay, an interventional spine and electrodiagnostic medicine specialist at Texas Orthopedics, put Martinez's mind at ease. As long as the herniated disc is out of the way of the nerve and it's not causing any nerve damage, there's really no surgery that's needed. Makai suggested an epidural steroid injection to reduce the inflammation around the spinal nerve and then an aggressive physical therapy program so Martinez could regain strength, get his pain under control, and get ready to deploy to Afghanistan. He completed three, I think, three tours in the last five years that I've been treating him, so he's amazing. I'm grateful to him, actually, for what he's doing for our country. Martinez says he's the one who's grateful for the treatment he received at Texas Orthopedics. It not only saved my career, but it, it, but it's, it saved my life. Jim Bergamo, KVU News Nightbeat.